Hi, welcome to NPA teaching. In this video, we are going to discuss one of the common application of derivatives that is calculating or finding the minimum or maximum value of a function. For example, the minimum time to take a certain journey, the minimum cost for doing a particular task or a producer may wants to maximize the profit and market share or minimize the cost and so on. Many of these problems can be solved by finding the appropriate function and then using the technique of derivatives to find the maximum or minimum value required. Thus the process of finding the relative maximum and minimum value of a function is known as optimization. A function f of x is said to have a attained its maximum value or maxima at x is equal to a if f of x increases up to x is equal to a stops to increase and begins to decrease at x is equal to a. Similarly a function f of x is said to attain its minimum value or minima at x is equal to b if the function decreases up to x is equal to b and begins to increase us at x is equal to b. Thus point A is the maximum value or maxima and at the same time the point B is the minimum value or it is also known as minima. To be a function is maximum and minimum at A, the function must be relatively plateau that is neither increasing nor decreasing at A. To check this, the first derivative of the function at A must be zero or undefined. The point in the domain where the first derivative is equal to zero or is undefined is called the critical values or points. This step represents a necessary condition known as first order condition and these critical points identifies the function is neither increasing or decreasing. Now take the second derivative and evaluate it at the critical points and check the sign. If the second derivative of a function f of a is negative that is f double prime of a is less than 0 then the function is said to be concave and hence the function is relatively maximum. If the second derivative of the function f of a is positive that is f double prime of a is greater than 0 then the function is said to be convex and hence the function at relatively minimum. If f double prime of a is equal to 0, then the test is inconclusive. This step is known as second order derivative test or second order condition which is the sufficient condition. Thus we are discussed the two conditions for function is being relatively maximum or minimum that is first order condition and second order condition. So for a function is relatively maximum when the f prime of a that is the first derivative of a is equal to 0 and the second derivative that is f double prime of a is less than 0. Similarly if a function is relatively minimum then the first order condition that is the f prime of a is equal to 0 and similarly the f double prime of a is greater than 0. If the function is strictly concave over the interval then there will be only one maximum and which is known as global maximum and at the same time if the function is strictly convex there will be only one minimum which is known as globally minimum. Now see there is another concept that is an inflection point. An inflection point is defined as the point in which the function changes from convex to concave or concave to convex. Or it is the point on a graph where the function crosses its tangent line and changes from concave to convex or vice versa. One characteristic of the inflection point is that there are the points where the derivative function has maximum and minimum. The inflection point occur only when the second derivative is equal to zero or undefined. The sign of first derivative is not important. Thus the inflection point is a point on a graph where the function crosses its tangent line and changes from concave to convex or vice versa. 
So this is the inflection point. So in short, for an inflection point at A, the second derivative is equal to 0 or f double prime of x is equal to 0 or it should be undefined. Then the convexity changes at x is equal to A. Then graph, its graph crosses its tangent line at x is equal to A. Now see we have a function and we want to find the critical values and relatively maximum or minimum values and at the same time we also want to find the inflection point. See the function f of x is equal to x q minus 18 x square plus 96 x minus 80. So for the first order condition we want to find the first derivative of the given function that is the f prime of x is equal to 3 x square minus 36 x plus 96 which is equal to 0. So if you solve this by using the quadratic formula or by factoring method we can find x is equal to 4 and x is equal to 8. So this x is equal to 4 and 8 are the critical point or critical values. Once we find the critical points or critical values then the second order condition is that we want to find the the second derivative of the given function that is f double prime of x which is equal to 6x minus 36. So if you substitute the, the critical points on the second derivative that is for example x is equal to 4 then f double prime of 4 is equal to 6 into 4 minus 36 which is equal to minus 12 which is less than 0. So the function is relatively maximum at x is equal to 4. At the same time if you substitute the value of x is equal to 8 on the second derivative then it will become 6 into 8 minus 36 which is equal to 12 which is greater than 0. So the function is relatively minimum at x is equal to 8. Now we want to find out the inflection point. For finding out the inflection point we want to take the second derivative and make it equate with 0. So the second derivative is 6x minus 36 which is equal to 0. Therefore, x is equal to 36 divided by 6 which is equal to 6. So, with the f double prime of 6 is equal to 0 and concavity changes between x is equal to 4 and x is equal to 8, there is an inflection point at x is equal to 6. Now, we have the another question that is we want to maximize the total revenue TR function by finding the critical values and also calculate the maximum total revenue. So the total revenue function which is given as 32q minus q square. So by taking the first derivative of the total revenue function which is equal to 32 minus 2q which should be equal to 0 then if we equate with 0 then the value of q will become 16. Thus the critical value is equal to 16. Now the second order condition that we want to find the second derivative of the total revenue function which is minus 2 which is less than 0 so that we can say that the total revenue function is maximum. Now we want to find the maximum total revenue. For finding the maximum total revenue we want to substitute the value of q is equal to 16 on the total revenue function. So the total revenue function is equal to 32 q minus q square therefore which is equal to 32 into 16 minus 16 square which is equal to 256. So the total revenue maximum total revenue is 256 and we can also note that the second derivative is here the negative over the whole domain of the function. So we can also conclude that the function is strictly concave and the function is globally maximum. Similarly, we have the another question that is we want to minimize the average cost function and also want to calculate the average cost from the given total cost function. So the total cost function Tc is equal to q cube minus 5q square plus 60q. Now from the given total cost function if we want to find the average cost then the total cost divided by the output then it will equal to q cube minus 5q square plus 60q divided by q. q is the output. So the average cost will become q square minus 5q plus 60. Once we received the 
average cost function now we can minimize the average cost so first step or first order condition is that we want to take the first derivative of the average cost function which is equal to 2q minus 5 and then we equate the average cost first derivative with 0 then it will become 2q minus 5 is equal to 0 therefore q is equal to 2.5 so this is the critical point 2.5 is the critical value now whether the function is maximized or minimized we want to take the second derivative of the average cost function so here the second derivative of the average cost function is equal to 2 which is greater than 0 therefore we can say that the average cost is minimized now in order to find the value of average cost substitute value of q is equal to 2.5 on the ac function or average cost function then it will become q square that is 2.5 square minus 5 into q that is 5 into 2.5 plus t which is equal to 53.75 so average cost is equal to 53.75 so whenever the value of second derivative is positive over the whole domain of the function then we can conclude that the function is strictly convex and the function is globally minimum now from the given following total revenue and total cost function maximize the profit for a firm by setting up the profit function that is pi is equal to or profit is equal to total revenue minus total cost and we want to find the critical values and also want to calculate the maximum profit so here the total revenue is given that is 1400q minus 6q square and the total cost is also given that is 1500 plus 80q. So the total profit that is pi is equal to total revenue minus total cost which is equal to 1400q minus 6q square minus within the bracket 1500 plus 80q. So if you remove the brackets then the total profit function which is equal to 1400q minus 6q square minus 1500 minus 80q. If you simplify this function then the total profit function is equal to minus 6q square plus 1320q minus 1500. So taking the first derivative of the total profit function it will become minus 12q plus 1320 and equate with 0 once you equate with 0 then the value of q will become 110 so this is the critical value or critical point once we received the critical point take the second order condition that is the second derivative of the profit function which is equal to minus 12 so the minus 12 is less than 0 so that we can say that the profit function is maximized then in order to find the total profit or maximum profit then substitute the value of q is equal to 110 on the profit function then which is equal to minus 6 110 square plus 1320 into 110 minus 1500 which is equal to 71,000. So the total or maximum profit is equal to 71,000. I hope that you are clear about how to find the maximum and minimum values in a single variable function. And the process of finding the relative maxima and minimum value of a function is known as optimization. In the next video, we will discuss how to find the maxima or minima in a multivariable function. Have a nice day and see you in the next video. Thank you.